Hey guys, we're back, Visor TV. I'm Visor. And I'm Alistair. And we're here for Avatar The Last Airbender, episode 15, 15 book three. three. So, last episode we had. Saka and Zuko trying to break in. It was a two parter, right? It was the second part. This is the second part, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Zuko. Yeah, this is a Zuko Saka like, adventure episode. They mm. broke into the boiling rock. Trying, yeah. Yeah, trying yeah. to find their father and shit. But they ended up finding Suki. And yeah, you know, yeah. I'll for that. They also found Jinxen, which is uh, this dumbass, <laughs> dumbass, <laughs> dumb fuck, ruined, ruined the whole plan you know? for them going and shit. Just I don't know, just exposed himself. Mm. But man, um, like you know, you know, the whole crew could have just left, but they, but they insisted. That, well, I guess Zuko sort of like motivated uh, Sake. He's like, you know what, you gotta take that risk. You came all this way, this fucking list to see if there's war prisoners. Like if they, if one of them happened to be your father. And then, lo and behold, it was Sokka's dad at the end. So, it kind of ended on a good note. But at the same time, like, they still have to, like, make an escape plan. Which is... Which is, uh, which is like, obviously, like, the only way you could escape is the way you... Like, the prisoners are coming in, right? Like, the way those guys are coming in, I'm pretty sure that's the way you have to get out. But, yeah. like, there's going to be a lot of fighting. Like, you know, the, the warden... The warden's his... Uh, who's... who's May's the... Maze. Uh, May's uncle. uncle, apparently. So, like, uh, obviously the warden doesn't like Zuko, so... <laughs> You know, a lot, a lot of fun little things are materializing over here. So, you know, I'm just curious. I've, I've been waiting to watch this part for for a while now, yeah. and we're here to watch it. So let's go. go. Tell you that one friend who's like, you can stop going. Why? Why would you do it? You just don't know people as well as you think you do. Oh! Miscalculated. Oh! More than I feared you. No, you miscalculated. You should have feared me more. What? She's not. You know, she's the uh, she's the hostage. She's related to the warden. The warden has feelings for her. He doesn't cut that thing. They escape. You know. Yeah. Like it was kind of more of a simple-minded thought of like, oh, the, you know, this makes the most sense. But wasn't a bad. Was it? Yeah, it wasn't a bad thing. To it, like, about I, all. I thought that was like the most predictable way to go about it. But man, okay. First of all, like we we're talking about predictability. Like Azula and Tylee showing up, May showing up. Like who the fuck would predict this shit, man? I, I thought it was gonna be like okay before the whole May thing. I thought it was gonna be a typical. You start the riot. You know, you, there's there's gonna be a problem happening. But yeah. like the the father, uh, Hakoda, I think, and Sokka, and Zuko, and everybody else, you go in the gondola, they escape. You know, yeah. the end. Like or like some some you you'll go through some adversi- adversity, but like you, you somehow make it, right? Exactly. But then you have like Azula coming up, Tylee first May showing up, and Azula, Azula. I, I can't get over the fact that Azula was in this episode. You know. Bro, like honestly, how? Bro, honestly, like it's only been like, like a bit more than half of the season. 
But this is by far my favorite season so far. Oh man, I, I, book three. Bro, I think book, book three, three is a fucking I, I killer. Think, I think book three is actually is got to be like I, I remember the first episode being like a movie. Like it felt so epic and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I, 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 yeah, book three hands down. We, we have we saw like so what, six episodes to go after this. Man, it's gonna come to an end. I'm getting so sad. No. But man, okay, God okay, okay. Yo, this episode is hyping as shit. We're gonna talk about it. Yeah, let's break it down. Okay. So we started this off, started this episode off with uh, Hakoda, I think his name is. Hakoda, yeah. Hakoda? Yeah. So like uh, like uh, like obviously Hakoda's a badass, looks like a badass, acts like a badass. He's a fucking leader, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. So like the, the dude was like he wasn't having none of his warden's bullshit, and you know, the warden was just an asshole. How he like uh, fuck the warden? You know, he's like look, look, look at me in the eyes and like you're fucking putting him down on his feet and just that's like pure blatant that's typical disrespect, you yeah. know. Typical you know typical typical, typical warden to prison prisoner kind of that. You know? just, <laughs> like the prisoner has no respect being shown to him at all. And then mm-hmm. that's that, that's the way these prison guards and like these the warden and everybody viewed them, right? Yeah. So like man Hagoda was having because you know, this guy comes from the water tribe. That's all about like respect and shit. You know that like, Hakoda like that, that's like a that, like respect like the men do their thing, the women do their thing, and everything's based off of respect, you know. And like that's why Hakoda, when it's like you go down my fucking shoes, and like the, the, if, if you if you don't want to look at me in the eyes, look at me in the shoes. That's fucking disrespectful, you know. And I understand why Hakoda was like, you know what, fuck everything. Like I'm not gonna be disrespected that way, you know. And that's no, why that's yeah. why the man. He's he, he, like, yeah, you know, like his honor and shit. It's like it's, uh, that's something like he, even at the end, he's like, he, he like, tripped the like, Yeah, he tripped his. Like, he tripped like, you. Like, you know? Fuck you. Yeah, yeah, he, 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 he had the last laugh. He made him look like a bitch. So like, you, you know, man, you got a mad respect for Hakoda. Even when Saka came into prison, he's like, yo, I'm like, like, get the fuck away from me, and I'll punch you in the gut or some shit, you know. Mm. But he's like, hey, dad, he's like, oh shit, he's like, you should have told me before. I would actually punch you in the gut, yo. And so yo, good. This guy's a badass man. He's a pure badass. Yo, um, you know, apparently only the leaders of any group go to the boiling rock. Oh yeah, yeah. That's so an interesting fact. So like, so that's why only Suki was there, not the girls. Exactly. And that makes sense for Suki being there. She's a Kyoshi leader. Yeah. And, you know of, of that group. And, and then, Hakoda and, being and, there. And Hakoda being there. And then so the rest of the people are like near the prison, like Bato and everybody. They're in the Fire Nation Palace. So like near the palace over there. So I'm, I'm, I'm assuming like when the final battle happens in the palace, I'm assuming the prison over there. That's where everybody is. So it's kind of like nice to like have them there. So yeah, like, you know they're gonna escape and shit. I mean, and that's what I think was gonna happen. That's that's more. Yeah, I, I, yeah, because the fact that they're near the palace, so like that's how they're gonna have a role to play into this. But man, yo, May shows up in prison. Holy shit! Talks to Zuko. Um, talks about how she feel felt betrayed by Zuko. And Zuko, you know, he explains his shit like that. Yo, I have to do what I have to do. And she, you know, you know, you, I I like how she was like, yo, you're bet- you're betraying the Fire Nation, right? Zuko's like, I'm trying to help the Fire Nation. She's like, no, you're trying to betray the Fire Nation. Yeah. And he's like, no, I know what's right for this country. Yeah, I'm doing this. It. Yeah. Yeah, it was like a, you know, it's like a patriotic you noise. Know? I'm like, doing this for the country, for the good of the country, you know. And, and May obviously, she likes the lack of emotion. Kind of goes to the show, like, uh, like what I'm trying to say. Like, is she, like, she was happy how life was. Like, you're rich. You live in a dream. Yeah, you're rich. You're rich. Rich. You, know, you you're, have everything you want. You're friends with the princess. You're yeah. dating his brother. Yeah, and, you know, you know like, luxury, royalty, like for and, and especially she, she, she already comes from a well-off family, so like yeah, for for for, for, yeah. for uncle is a warden, then like you're you're already in. You know, it's like even her past, like she was rich as shit, like she was given everything. Well, yeah, she, she said she, yeah, she, she, she was given to behave right. So like for her, she's like, why? why so this is you? the big thing that she yeah did. yeah no, it's like exactly. you know, she showed some emotion. She, like she, no, she she went out of her comfort zone. I, 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 in, the, in the sense of like, yo, that's true, that's true. I, like everything I got, cause I just sit down and I listen and I don't speak. This time she went against Azula, oh. betrayed everyone. So and, like, and she actually followed her heart, you know. Like, yeah, the, the one person that connected with her, she actually like, even though she felt betrayed by him, but she still she like, did it for love. Like, oh yeah, that's a good point. Like, May is like that character development I'm seeing. Like, she's like, fuck everything. Before like, she was like a like a, like a like an empty canvas, you know. But now mm-hmm. she's actually like. Blossoming, she's yeah, actually. Yeah, like, no, I like that. that. I like that. So it's like, so it may help. So it may help Zuko out. Um, but man, um, what else happened this episode? Uh, Jing Sen was being interrogated. Yeah, at oh, first I, I thought I, I had a feeling he was gonna give in. He's gonna be like, well, he kind of did. He kind of did. But like, I feel like, yeah, I feel like, what if that guy wasn't there? You know, like that that guy would would he rat him out? Like, like oh, you you're saying you're saying if that the guy that the guard that he ratted. Out was not there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he could still rat somebody else out. You know, 
But like, I feel like it doesn't make sense, like, that guy in particular, particular because, like, that guy's trying to fuck him up, so he's like, you know, he's like, yeah, you fuck him. And, and it made sense, too, because, like, that guy sent him to the cooler, and, like, that's, how, that, that's the, the means they used to escape. So, like, the warden's like, oh, it all makes sense. It was all a ploy for you to send him there and all the shit. Uh-huh. And it, even though, like, Sake employed that, that strategy for Zuko, but, like, it, it kind of worked out for Jinseng or... Jing Sang, right? Yeah, Jing Sang. Yeah, Jing Sang, yeah. Yeah, so like, I'm glad Jing Sang pulled through in that sense, because that, that last episode, that guy was an utter flop. But then, but then again, um, okay. Then we, then during the integra- in, integration. Interrogation, too. I really fucked up. You know what's funny today? I was watching integration. In- <laughs> <laughs> I just said integration instead of like. I, I just said, I said it cal- Interrogation. Fuck! <laughs> Edit all my bullshit. No, don't edit that shit. I love that shit. That's okay, interrogation. Okay, so between Jin Sang's interrogation um, of, of uh, like uh, the ward and him, Azula fucking shows up. I don't know her. And Tai Li. What was holding? I don't know. Well, 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 well. I was. Well, I was well the, the warden. The warden did bring May. The May. How did the May? What was I, May? Wait, you know what? I think that, um, that was May told about about Zuko being here by the warden. Or most because, likely, because that's the only explanation I have. How like May knows it. I don't I don't know, know, that's Azula, how Azula found out. Azula found out through him, but like, I I, I think that's the only explanation I have. I don't know. Like, uh, they they showed up in the, in the prison. I, I think the warden may have told them. Azula and Tylee show up. I like how Azula just looks at the the guy. He's like, okay, the, 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 that guy is just he, he he didn't do it. Just fucking go. She's like, how do you know? He's like, I'm a people person, you know. She's that fucking Azula smirk. She walks off. Oh my god, man. Azula is awesome. As much as I hate her, she's fucking awesome. She's actually awesome, awesome. the way she's, she does. She's, he's, he, he says one thing. Yeah, he's yeah, wasting yeah, your time. Yeah, yeah. What? It's, it's just like, she's so like, she's so competent, you know? I kind of like, that's, that's a very attractive characteristic for me. Like, a competent person who, who's like on top of shit, you know? Yeah, not a, and like, not who's just skilled, and like knows what to do. Even though she's evil as shit and stuff, I don't know, I, like obviously like that part, well, she was a good guy, but like that's what makes her character so intriguing, you know? That's, that's true, like, that's very she's, true. She's just, she's just like so like, She's just such a good villain, man. I actually, I think she's my favorite villain in this whole series. I think Azula yeah. hands down. She's like hands down. Like even yeah. she's so even with Ozai, like I, she's like for me, like yo Azula, Ozai, like, like, yeah, like well, Ozai's Ozai, nothing special to me. Uh, yeah, because we haven't, we haven't, we haven't really seen. Him That's what I'm saying. Right? Yeah, but like, for me, for me, like Azula is like I think the greatest villain so far in the show. It's just oh, it's amazing. Easy, I, easy, I, easy, I like easy, that she won season book two. You know, she won it after. Like like she took over busting Sailor. So like yo Azula like. The props to her, but at the end of the day, man, it didn't work out for her, obviously. But before that, the riot. I love how the riot began. <laughs> the Jin Sang just. <laughs> Who's the <some> guy? <laughs> the riot! It's not the Jin Sang! Because, like, you heard that guy who Lakota tried, like, fucking with? Some, like, tough looking, Mexican looking guy. <laughs> he's like. He's like, oh, you hurt my feelings. And then he's like, what? He's like, what? He's like, I'm actually an anger control. And then like, the guy takes take the guy, he's like, to start a riot. He's like, fuck anger, fuck anger control. He's like, we have to riot. Let's fucking riot, bro. Yeah, well, there's so much anger management. Oh my god. Like, oh, shit. <laughs> Just by like, taking a dude and shaking him. He's like, fucking riot, bro. And they start to riot, and Suki just jumping off people's heads. Yeah, Suki, Suki, whoa! Like, you know, they, you know, she's so silky smooth, man. The way she does shit, so fucking flexible, man. So flexible, does her thing. Uh, f- fucking. You know what you call it? Elasticity. That's no, a little bit. She reminds me of the Elastic Girl from Mr. Incredible. <laughs> the way she just does things, man. It's just so fucking like amazing. Oh, that's funny. She fucks up the warden. Literally makes, like, makes uh, him a prisoner. prisoner. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're my prisoner now, bitch. Uh, they got to the, so she basically sets up the route to the gondola. Uh, they take the hostage, and then obviously Azula shows up. She does her thing, man. Azula. She fucking fire rockets using that blue fire, whatever the fuck she does. Yeah, she she literally she can fly. She she literally can fly. Like uh, I'm pretty sure like there's a limit to it, but like she can fly when need be. So like, man, she the blue fire shit. She goes up to the gondola, starts fucking fighting. So you use the handcuffs to like fucking slide through, man. Like. Like, again, the creativity of the show is just always remarkable, you know, especially how Azula does it. She's like, what's she gonna do with the hand? Is she gonna handcuff someone? Yeah, at first I'm like, gonna slide Yeah, she should use that, that fire boost as, like, the acceleration. What? Like, uh, yeah, man, that was amazing. God damn it. Suki wanted some revenge. Zuko wanted some revenge on her. The rematch going on. Um, Saka too. Sa- Saka, I mean, Saka had a moment with a black sword. Not even that. I think it's because remember that time that like oh, got, yeah, we got yeah, 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 yeah. So, like, yeah, so everybody has like a personal grudge against Azula. Uh, I'm actually really impressed at how how Saka fought. Really? 
Because like Zuk, it was Zuka versus Azula, mm-hmm. and then well, Saka came Saka would, with the sword. Saka would come in, but yeah. then he would go back. He would go back. Like he, he would add that extra dimension exactly. to the fight. That's you know? that's actually like yeah. No, she was worried. Back. She was worried because like remember, remember Saka became a, a good swordsman after the one episode where he trained them mm. with that guy. Uh, it's, it's just like uh, yeah, I mean, she was worried that swords. Um, uh, uh, Tylee and Asuki were going at it. They, they, I, I would, I would have given Tylee the nod in, in terms of fighting, but like, they, they, like they look evenly matched. But Tylee has that like boom, 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 yeah. can't move, can't yeah. move. That that kind of X factor to her fight. Well, that's why I was gonna give her the nod. But like, yeah, but like Tylee and Suki, man, they're going at it. Azula, Zuko, Saka were going at it. Uh, Hakoda had uh, had the warden, but like the warden who sort of like slipped up. He's like, yo, fucking this. To throw this shit down, man. Like you gotta respect the warden in that sense, where like he's willing to like kill himself just so people don't escape. Um, Azula left. Wow. She's like, peace out, Zuko. I'm out. You know, Tylee kind of left too, but Tylee had more of that concern face. Like, oh, you never do that to your brother. Yeah. Yeah. I just, it's kind of, Azula, Azula's kind of fucked up in that sense. Honestly, yeah, you don't watch your brother die. Like, hey, yeah, and then, fuck, and then, man. Like, I know you're emo, but like, goddamn, <laughs> you know, like shit. I, I, I remember that episode, like the beach episode. Like Azula and everybody was like, right, that funny episode with yeah, Azula and everybody. I yeah, was like, 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 yeah, the chat or the chat or whatever. Uh, it's just so funny, like, like, I'm, like thinking about that episode and like Azula literally d- does not hesitate to like have Zuko killed, you know? Like, mm. does not hesitate at all. So I'm just like, shit. But then obviously, yo know, man, uh, May comes for the rescue. May hey. May is bae, man. She yeah. just, she's like, you know what? I'm doing this for. Bae. I just got dumped. I'm doing it for. Her. <laughs> I love their life. I love. I love the sarcasm that comes out of her. She has such like, an important role. Those today. little. Uh, those, I don't know what you, what you call those uh, shurikens. Those, those are thrown knives. That, uh, All right. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Nice. <laughs> Kudai's. Kudai's. I don't know what they are, bro. Throwing <laughs> stars. Yeah, for those, those ninja stars, I think, or whatever they're called. Those ninja stars. She, she just fucked people up. <laughs> got the gondola going. Those guys escaped using Azula's own ship. Um, so it was a happy ending for those guys. But man, oh, May was. She literally sacrificed herself for Azula, which is like so honorable, you know? It's like, damn, she actually did it up. She put herself and her life on the line. And Azula was gonna kill her! She was like, you, it's like, I remember, mean, yo, May took that big shot at her. She's like, oh, so I guess you're not really a people's person. Because yeah. you're gonna read me at all, you know? Like, yeah, she, I mean, she had to oh, as well. Oh, damn! I know, man! Damn! Shit! Like, oh. Azula got told, man. Bro, for, I think the first time Azula, like, lost in something. I, I agree. Yeah, like, like, shots and fired. Bro, like, she, like, May took a big swing at her, man, in, in terms of just, like, what she said, and Azula was like, I guess, evil. You're, not, I guess you're not a people's person. Oh my god! And she's so she's so and she's so prideful of being that like people's person. So I'm just like, damn girl, yo, May. But man, yo, Azula was literally that that finger stance of like the, the for the lightning pierce thing he does, and I'm like, fuck me, she's gonna kill May. But man, Ty Lee, Lee, man, Ty, Ty, Ty Lee's a sweet girl, man. Honestly, yo, Ty Lee's just amazing. She's like, I told you, I liked it from the beginning. I, just, I, she, I, I don't know why. She has that really good innocent. She has that innocent good vibe. I know she's just she's just on the wrong side. <laughs> Not know. Know. Right? Yeah, she she's is. a good person on the wrong side. I feel like she's a good person. Too. I, I just feel like I just feel like she looks up to the wrong person, which is Azula. She she really looks up to Azula. Yeah. But at that moment, like Tylee looked concerned. She's like, she's like, oh, should I do it? And then and, and, you know, like that moment, you don't have much time to think. She literally what she betrayed Azula. Man. Top ten. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Top ten anime betrayals. You, you can't call the show an anime though. It's, a, it's American made. No. I'm sorry? No. Sorry. Fuck <laughs> the Top the 10. Bro. But man, no, no, no. Uh, honestly, man. Honestly, bro, yo. That man. ending, I did not expect at all. Fuck, man. Like, I thought, I thought May, May doing that was like, okay, yo, that's it. That's Ty it. Lee doing it? Fuck me, man. Just like, that's it, man. Yo, as, like, as well as on her own. There's no three trio. Uh, uh, yeah, like, yeah, it's more like the friendship tool. I, I don't think Azula really looks at friendship. They were in the beach the other day. Uh, yeah, Azula, man, yo, yo, like for her, man, like yo, friendship and whatever, like, like she prioritizes and getting the job done above everything else, you know, Fire Nation priorities over friendship, uh, sibling shit, your siblings, family or whatever. Yeah, she doesn't get the job done. Man. She, she wants to, like, she's she's just she's kind of wild that way, you know. But like, or Tylee, the way she fucking chipped in, just fucked shit up. 
She, <laughs> I like Azula on the ground, couldn't even move. So Tylee like really got a good one in her, you know? She, she didn't expect it, man. It's just ridiculous how she did that shit, man. It's crazy. But man, yo, um, yo, at the end of the day, man, me and Tylee, uh, Azula, Azula literally said, you're gonna rot for the rest of your days or whatever the fuck she said. And I, I kind of feel so, I especially feel bad for me and, and actually I feel bad for both me and Tylee. Tylee as well, because damn man, you can't do that to her. Shit, and, you know, Azula, like fuck man, I, like it's just, it's, it's kind of messed up. I hope, I, I hope they get saved somehow. God you know? damn man. But man, yo, this was a one hype fucking episode. This is like, a good part too. Start to finish, this was just so fucking hype. It was just like, man, I, I literally enjoyed every minute of the clip. Yeah. There was no slow part. I was like, I was just in it the whole time. I'm just like, I just, I just didn't want it to end, you know, so, oh, man, man, great episode, great episode. great episode, guys, so stay tuned for the next segment. Alright guys, it's that time again, who's going to be your MVP of this episode? And who's going to be the flop of this episode? So MVP, man, yo, we have a bunch I'm, of candidates, but I'm kind of leaning towards May in this I, one. I want to give it to May entirely. Well, like... Like, I wanna, but I feel like I'm gonna give it to May though. Okay, but why? But why, why not? Like, okay. Like, I agree with May 100%. Like, no. Oh, so you, you wanna include Ty Lee too? I wanna include Ty Lee. Well, okay. make, make it have make it died. If it wasn't for Ty Lee. No, I agree with that, but like, yeah, sure, I agree with that as well. Like, Ty, Ty that's why she's, she's a candidate, but I, I wanna just give it to her because. Because, yo, Zuko and everybody was gonna die, and Ty Lee didn't do anything then. She, she went. She went along. She, she went along. She went along with Azula's little plan, and she, she she had a sad face, but she didn't do nothing. May did something. She she you know, and I, I feel I feel like May saving them sort of sort of like inspired Ty Lee, you know, and, and, and in the same way like Ty Lee was like she was already on on the verge of like she's like shit, but Azula like she had that face of like Azula really you gonna do that to your brother, and then but she she was still like. Fearful of Azula. Remember, Azula is like, you should be made more fearful. She rules by fear. That's what Azula. Yeah. Her philosophy is to rule by fear. Mm-hmm. So she had, she had, and Tylee looks up to Azula, right? Like, mm-hmm. extremely. Yeah. So, like, she had that, she had that going, but at the same time, I feel like May being part of the trio and May just betraying Azula by saving Zuko, giving into her feelings, and just like, fuck it. I feel like she inspired Tylee to, like, save May in that sense, you know? That's why I'm gonna give, like, May, she was, like, the main you know trigger point and everything. I like, agree. You actually, you convinced me. Yeah. yeah, I just feel, I feel, I feel like it's May, like, uh, other, other uh, nominations, obviously, Zuko. Obviously, yeah. you know, Jin Sang as well, for redeeming himself, he, 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 he played it right this Su- time. Suki as well. Suki as well. Akoda, like, you know, all these, all these honorable, like, uh, mentions, but, man, MVP, we're talking, we're talking May, clutch move, save their life, gotta respect that shit. Yeah. She went out of her comfort zone, as you said, and like, man, she, like, you know, she did it up. So, May, congratulations, MVP of today's episode. You made us believe, put clothes on our backs, you sacrificed for us, you the real MVP. Alright guys, this is gonna be the flop of today's episode. Everybody do the flop! Alright, so I, I, for me, in this case, I got two main candidates. I got Azula, <laughs> Shop Shop, and I got uh, the Warden. Warden? The Warden. Mm-hmm. I'm leaning more towards the Warden, though. Even though Azula did get, like, you know, that she got spanked when, when May said, oh, you're not really a people's person, you didn't really know us the whole time, whatever. But at least, like, the Warden, the Warden was willing to sacrifice himself. Well, yeah, he was, but at the same time, like, bro, man, what Hakoda's like, it looks like your, your record is blemished by me, you know? Peace out. And the world's like, well, shit. <laughs> Everyone's like, oh, oh shit. <laughs> I mean, um, yeah, okay. I- I'm leaning towards, I'm, I'm leaning towards the warden, to be honest. Like, uh, absolute douchebag. I, I mean, you know what, man? He, I, got, he, got, he, got, he got the wrong guy. For I, I'm feeling like, towards the Azula. Really? Yeah. Because, like, Azula has always been on top of everyone's game. Okay, okay, okay. okay. This is the, uh, uh, the first time that we've ever seen Azula got upset, Azula, Azula got betrayed, and Azula lost. What? Well, okay, okay, come on, come on, really? Yes. Now, okay, okay. Yeah, like, like, look, look how high the standards were setting for Azula, that you're willing to give her a flop because poor Azula was upset. Okay. Really? Oh, that, 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 you know, I know that, but like that goes to show of Azula's greatness. Like no, no, that, the I'm... fact, the fact that she got upset and like she got a one liner on her, on, down on her. You know, and you're willing to give her a flop for that? Yes. Just, like, 
I don't know. I, I feel. I feel like we're that, that's unfair to the other characters. Cause I'll, 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 like that's kind of like that's kind of soft for a flaw. But this is the first time that she took a, she took an L. Well, she took an L in terms of like. Well, honestly, she, Azula did everything she could, and and she basically won. She she basically won. It was because of May's betrayal, and then Tylee's. Well, well, Ty Ty Tylee betrayed her and not killing May. But like at the end of the day, I feel like Azula she did take an L, but at the same time. Like, it wasn't as big of an L as, like, compared to other characters who got flawed. Like, okay, she got betrayed by two guys, by, by two of her friends. Um, but, like, she, before that point, like, she literally did everything perfectly, you know? I'm just saying, it's kind of like, you're saying, the standards are so high for Azula, that, like, it's like... Well, that's like, what she gets for being MVP for so many times. <laughs> what? <laughs> I, I, know, I, I know what you're saying, though, but, like, I said, if the standards are high for you... Well, I just oh, feel like, oh, like, literally, the argument was like, oh, she, like, she was kind of upset at that towards the end, like... Literally, like, like, May and Ty Lee are still caught and, like, they're gonna rot. Like, this was kind of, like, a small hindrance for, like, Azula, but at the same time, like, like, I agree, like, she, she, she did kind of lose towards the end, which she, she got her, to her two friends, close friends, friends, in quotations, like, got betrayed her, but at the same time, like, I don't know if he's worthy of a flop, like, 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 I feel like the Warden kind of got a flop, too, like, I feel like he should deserve it. In my opinion, I feel like the Warden deserves it, because... Dude, dude was a douchebag from the start, Inter interrogated the wrong person, until Azula came in and be like, ah, no, he's not, he's not it. You know? Got taken hostage, you're the fucking warden and you got your ass pulled by Suki? Got taken hostage? The only good thing he did was like, bring the ship down. I'm like, I didn't expect that, but like, besides that, and then, and then after that he took an L, and then was like, bro, your, your, your little un undefeated record? <laughs> Look at us walking. I want you to see us walk. Threw him inside the fucking gondola and he's like, peace out, boy. And takes this L with you. Like, uh, you know? Like, I, I, in my opinion, I feel like the warden got that L over here. It took a flop, in my opinion. Like, like, like he, he lost. Bro, he lost. Well, you know, you know what, what makes the warden the warden? That undefeated record of his. Nobody escaped. He takes such pride in that shit. Literally got thrown like a bitch taken hostage and be like, peace out. And walked off, you know? I feel like he took a big L compared to like Azula. Oh, sure, she like, Azula, Azula did everything right. The thing is, you're not wrong. That's that's the problem. I, I, yeah, I'm just I'm, exactly. I feel like I'm comparing. Azula. I'm, not, I'm not. I'm not saying Azula is not a candidate for a flop. Like at the end of the day, like 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 she thought she could rule by fear. She didn't. Um, you know, and like and you know, it kind of like, like May betrayed her, and then that sort of triggered Ty Lee betraying May. But I feel like I also feel like this is like. Yeah, the beginning of the end for Azula. At the what do you same mean by time. that? Because this is like, this is Azula's technically her first loss in, in, in what we've seen so far. Well, yeah, yeah you know, sure. this is the first time that we've seen not weakness. Okay. But how's this the beginning of the end? More of a vul like a vulnerability because we've never she's always calm. She's always calm. This is the first look. I like it's like you said the standards are high. For Azula, which is true. Only for Azula. Like, Only for Azula. I feel like it's unfair though. Like, like you can't, you can't have that. Like, like she, I feel like you can't keep that high of standards. Where like, oh, she, she feels upset. She gets, you know, she gets told by May, gets betrayed. Like, like I feel like day man, like she didn't do nothing wrong. I feel like this episode. Yeah. Uh, but maybe she overestimated well, she didn't her ability really, to yeah, yeah, she still didn't, fear. She didn't. She didn't. She didn't really do anything wrong. wrong. You know, I just, I just feel like you seeing her and like. That position of weakness, not weakness, or like more in frustration. That I, I just feel like the warden deserves it, in my opinion. I feel like he literally. All right, let's go to the warden. I, I just feel like the warden. I, I don't think like I don't think Azula like, got the flaw for this one. I, again, I don't know. But, like, I, I, I felt like this was a straightforward one, but like you, you know, it, it could go either way. It could go either way. But I'm gonna give the benefit of doubt to Azula. I just feel like standards are too high for her to give her a flaw just for like that. Mm. You know, yeah, I felt like she she did everything perfectly. Okay, we'll go with the warden. But we'll 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 let us know in the comments below because I'm really curious about yeah, this. Yeah, I'm curious too, guys. Let us know. You know what? This one's this one's actually like it could go either way. I'm leaning towards the warden. Side with like, me. <laughs> side with the warden. But man, you know what? Sorry to hear this, bro. Let, let's go. Let's go. The warden will be the flop of today's episode. Fuck. <laughs> All right, guys. That, that's it for that's it for today. Um, great, great episode. I love the ending of this part, the second part. Mm -hmm. um, it was a video. Oh, this, like, this is a great episode. Epic, epic, epic ending. Epic. Azul is showing up like holy shit. Plot you know? twist. A part of another plot twist. And then you know betrayal. And then and then at the end, a good ending for our protagonist. You know the the dad they saved, Suki saved, and all the and you know, together. Mm -hmm. I'm curious to see how the group goes. So uh, stay tuned. Stay tuned for that. Get the next few episodes of Patreon as well as you want. 
And as always, guys, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe, Alistair. Pleasure. Peace.